James Morton. Welcome to the website. And I want to show you a very short, cool lesson. This is something called a bark. Hi-hat bark. It's an, it's an offbeat 16th effect. A lot of great drummers as diverse as uh, John Bonham, Bernard Purdy, uh, and a lot of other people have, have utilized in their playing. Uh, if you want to hear a great example of this, uh, I think I've got the chart on the website. It's Rock Steady by Aretha Franklin, and Bernard Purdy is tearing it up. They give him an eight measure solo in the middle of this thing, and he, he ends this thing with that little bark effect. Let me show you how easy it is to do it. Here's a little exercise. It's all in the feet. You know, one thing I tell my students is this. Every pattern that you play, every beat, has its own dance. If you learn that dance, you can play to the beat. And you can go to the prom, too. All right. Okay. So here we go. Here's your dance. Think offbeat sixteenths with a bass drum. And you're going to walk sixteenths after the third beat. So it's like, oh, here's it is. One, two, three, and four, and one. Two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four. Get that mastered, okay? Now, on top of that, all you're going to be playing is uh, every time you play the bass drum on the off beat, you're going to be hitting the hi hat once. You're going to be closing it. So it's one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four. And that's, that's it. Now, Preface that by two beats of just eighth note raw, regular eighth note. So one and two and, okay? Now, I'm going to do a little a uh, three, like that, a little setup for that. So one and two and three. I'm set up to do those offbeat bars, okay? So here we go. Incorporate that into your plan. Listen to Bernard Purdy. He is the master of that stuff. Uh, go to YouTube. Go to iTunes. Get Rock Study by Aretha Franklin. It's very fun. Oh, I feel good. I knew that I would not. I feel good. I knew that I would not.